think I might be pregnant. Was baby number three planned? I was not in control. It takes two why we decided to announce pregnancy early. She should be taking you guys on this journey with her. Hopefully it yeah. helps you and doesn't make you feel so alone. Because this is our last baby, lads. Let me tell you, <laughs> best months of your life. I was busting Just dust. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back yeah, to the hey. channel, 2024. You probably already know by the thumbnail and the title that we're having another baby. Hey. Yeah, what? Baby number three. We lost Mate. our heads, I don't know. <laughs> Poppy's put an Instagram post out and we're just going to answer some of your guys' questions. Yeah, um, nice juicy YouTube video. First video of 2024 and it's going to be First juicy. First video of 2024. I had a lot of questions, so but obviously oh. they're all quite samey samey, so I've just... I've got down the most asked questions. Was baby number three planned? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Do you know what? Frank's is actually the only planned baby. Rosa was very unexpected, and this baby was also very unexpected. Screwed myself over a little bit because when they're planned, lads, let me tell you, <laughs> best months of your life. <laughs> That's all I can say. More than three times a day, and I ain't even joking. I was busting <laughs> dust. <laughs> I was actually gonna say that, it's really weird, because obviously I know we are very blessed <laughs> that we, we, we're, ha we're having three babies. I know it's yeah, not always are. easy for everyone. No, but course. when they've not been planned, for, I, I seem to just get pregnant. But when we were trying for Frank, oh yeah, we did, we tried, we tried for while, yeah. like six or seven months, and I miscarried before Frankie, like, it seemed, when you really want, a ba obviously we really want this baby, that's horrible to say, but I mean, when you're like desperately trying yeah. for a baby, it seems to take- Strange, isn't it? It seems to take forever. Because there's only two occasions this could have happened. And can I just say both times, yeah, I was not in control. Oh, shut up. No. Yes, you were. No, no, no. It no, takes no. two. No, yeah, of course it takes two, but no, but can, can you just take a bit of a bit of control, please? No, but I didn't think, I, 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 I roughly track like when I'm ovulating. So I must have ovulated. <laughs> Early. Yeah. I must have ovulated a lot earlier than I thought I would because I thought I'd be fine. Yeah. I was in dreamland. <laughs> That's all I can say. Next question, are we ready? When should you date? So obviously I'm only seven weeks, almost seven weeks pregnant. I'm a couple of days off seven weeks pregnant, so I'm not gonna have a scan until roughly 12 weeks. So that's when I'll find out like the exact due date. But I know I'll be due in August sometime. I think it's not going to be far off your birthday. No. It's Jay's big 30th this year, so you're going to have to celebrate it like way in advance. No, I can do that. But do you know what? I was thinking the other day, yeah? I was talking to the football lads. Yeah, go on. I planned it perfectly, mate. Because it'll be pre-season, no games, nothing. Do you remember Frankie? I had a game, didn't oh, I? Oh, yeah, you had a game when she was due. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Come here, you chick. Come here. <laughs> Fuck it, come here. Come here. No, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, so, I'll what, plan so you're not, it. You don't have people in August. Well, it's like pre-season, so it's not as important. Oh, all right, good. Eh? I am gonna have an early scan though, actually. <laughs> I did have with Frank. <laughs> obviously, I have had miscarriages, and I, I did worry in the first yeah. trimester, so I have booked a private scan. Right. Okay. Um, Question number three. What? Well, blah, 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 bye. What were your first symptoms that made you think you were pregnant? Because obviously, in our announcement video I said I had a feeling I, I was pregnant. Oh yeah, um, what was it? I don't know, I just felt off. I took a test a few days before my period actually and it, I had a, like, a really faint line, didn't I? Like I did with Frank, it wasn't necessarily symptoms, I just felt different. Yeah. I had a feeling that I was pregnant. Yeah. That's it really. Well I don't understand. No, obviously not. No, never and I don't dare say that I understand because fucking don't get my head bit off. Well, you don't understand what it's like to be pregnant. No, but at the same time, like, I do experience everything with you, so I do have an understanding. Okay, yes, I don't know how it feels. I don't know how you feel. I don't know how certain things feel, but I do have an understanding yeah. of what it's like to be pregnant. Yeah, you, yeah, you, under yeah. Yeah, you understand, you sympathise. This little flipping absolute animal, mate, <laughs> bit my head off in the car. I didn't. You said, I know how you feel, and I was like, no, you don't know how I feel, because you've never yeah. been pregnant. Yeah, yeah, but that was That's just That's how you. I said it. Yeah. Yeah, but I was literally just like, oh, babe, I know how you feel, and you are like, <laughs> no, you don't know how I feel! And I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't, don't make me laugh, because I'm But then obviously, me and Poppy, me and Poppy, were both fire signs, so we no, we never back down, so like, in that situation, yeah, I should just be like, okay, yeah, sorry, darling, I didn't mean it like that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I'm literally like, sitting there like, 
Now I do know because obviously I'm I have an understanding. I'm with you every single step of the way. Of course I have an. No, you don't have an understanding. You don't know, and I'm like, that's not what I'm saying, pops. I'm, I'm, you don't know what it feels like. <laughs> well, let's move on to the next oh, question okay. before we get. Otherwise, we just go off on one, don't yeah, we? Yeah, right. That's our problem. So quite a few of you want to, wanted to know why we decided to announce pregnancy early. Well, we wanted to do it, one, because we, you know, we announced early with Frank. I mean, I think I was nine nine weeks with Frank. Was it nine weeks? Are you sure it was nine weeks Yeah, Frank? because we had Tockfest uh, and like a meet and greet and stuff. And I was obviously quite poorly with Frankie. Nowhere near as poorly as what I am now, though. But I was already like, show, well, not necessarily shame, but I was very bloated and I did look pregnant. So I just thought... Rather than people speculating and maybe putting the news out there before my, we did, we were like, why don't we just announce it early? So I was nine weeks for Frankie, maybe ten per Yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like it was nine weeks. And then this one, obviously, I was six weeks when we announced. So. For me, right, I've just always had this, like, do you know, like, everyone's like, oh, you can't tell. I get that things can happen, and it is the most... Yeah, it's, it's more, the most... you're more likely to miscarriage in the first, like, 16 weeks. I yeah. Think. Um, but I feel like, personally, I feel for Poppy, she should be taking you guys on this journey with her. Not just for herself, but for, you, for anyone else that's going through. I think yeah, it's nice that's... for people to have that early on. Because, of course, you can talk about it. But when you're actually going through it and you're thinking, I think it's nice for you to... Well, a lot of people do choose to wait. and that, So you're going through it alone, other than your partner, obviously, that knows. We're doing it alone and it's really yeah. hard like especially if it's your first child when you're just really poorly and you're feeling all these emotions like it's really hard so yeah we wanted to announce it early so that i can share we can share this journey with you and hopefully it yeah. helps you and doesn't make you feel so alone i don't feel like there should be like this you know you can't tell someone until you're 12 weeks personally no and do you know what i've not had one person say what like why are you doing that like yeah, that's good. wrong what, yeah, people good. were like curious like oh how, how come have you like you've announced it yeah. early but like no one's been rude yeah, about good. it no i think that's nice in, fa in fact everyone's been like i love that you've announced it early like you're kind of normalizing that it's okay to announce it yeah, early if it you is. want to yeah, of course it is it's an exciting time for for your life like 12 weeks is a long time like do you know what i mean like and if you feel like you want to everyone knows the risks and like just go ahead and do it, it? Yeah. yeah i also think that if you did miscarry then you also go through that alone and that's wrong like that's the hardest thing you yeah. like it's so it's so hard emotionally and physically to miscarry so like you shouldn't go through that alone either no. anyway that's why we wanted to announce it early do you have the reactions of the families when you told them on Christmas Day? Because obviously you said in our announcement video at the end, we're so excited to tell our families on Christmas Day. But we didn't no, so even get that far. Funny story. Obviously, as you know, Rosa and Frankie was involved with the whole thing, which I think is really cute. I'm so mm. glad we've done it that way. Same. Obviously, Poppy done the, the really thin, um, cheap ones. <laughs> And was getting right. Oh, when I say fake knives, right, this yeah, is a real problem. She's like, there's a line. I'm like, <laughs> holding up to the light. I'm like, yeah, if you hold up to the light, love. <laughs> but like, it was so, like, you had to really try and focus. But then I was like, am I just looking, am I just seeing a really faint line because You're I think there's, yeah, line, exactly. Yeah. But, so then we did the, the proper one. And I just feel like that's so, like, um, it's such a beautiful thing to do, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So, I, I, I wasn't here. But no. obviously, Rosa decided to tell Grandad that her mummy decided to put a stick into some wee. Yeah. And now she's got a baby in her tummy. That's what so she then said I walked through dad. the door, and your dad was like, What did he say to me? You've got something to tell me. He's like, Rosa's just filled me right in. I was like, Yeah. What do you mean? And obviously. No, I think he said, You need to keep that in your pants, is what he had. Oh, did he first say? First initially yeah, said, he said, You, you like, what are you talking about? I was just about? like, What? I was like, Looking <laughs> down, like, What? What do I need to keep in my pants? Like, what? What's that? And Rosa decided to tell him. Yeah, and actually, my mum was my mum was over when you found out the faint line. When I found out the faint line, I, and I said to her, "I think I might be pregnant." So she had a she she pretty much knew. She knew first. And then, obviously, yeah. we weren't we still weren't one hundred percent until we no, had that test. Yeah, and, and then obviously Rosa told Granddad after we had the digital test. Oh. I always do this toast where it's like for love, for honour. If you can't come in her, come on her. But this time I wanted to do for love, for honour. If you can't come on her, come in her. Wee, Poppy's pregnant. Yeah, that's but how we wanted to announce it on Christmas Day. To everyone, yeah, because that's just classic. It's classic. Uh, but yeah, we didn't. So no, we didn't get reactions. Right, come on then, next question. Have you got nausea? Yes, <laughs> I have. 
all day, all night, and I'm struggling. I really am. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. I really do feel sick all the time. And I mean, I don't mean to take it away from you, but I, I have to do everything. Yeah, you're really good. No, you're not taking it away. And I actually was just going to say, oh, I'm struggling, but I would not cope if I didn't have you. No. Because you both. really help with the girls. Like, you really take over. No. When I'm having, like, a bad moment, I just need to sit down. Like, I can just sit down. Yeah. Whereas if you Try weren't here, out, I, can. Like, I can't imagine. Obviously, we work from home. Like, we're, we're so blessed, and I'm so blessed to have help with the, with the kids because a lot of, <clears throat> Mums don't have that, like their yeah. partners are out working, like I can't even imagine how you do it on your own. We had it's a so very hard. small like snippet of it, like work life with children, like we don't know that. Obviously we still work, but when I say work life I mean like a proper 9 to 5 yeah. structured work life. We've not had that with our children, so we're very lucky. And I know there's pros and cons to both sides, but... I mean, I had it with Rosa for a while. Like, she was probably only just one. Mm, no, I think Less I, than I, that. I think I was at the law firm until she was one. Oh, no, yeah, maybe. It was around that she time. Was just so one so we had a year firm. of it. Yeah. I just would not cope. <clears throat> like, you take Frankie from in the you morning. Wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to work. Because I feel so And then so I wouldn't sick. be able to work. Yeah, how the hell do you no, do No, you'd that? have to go and work, though. You'd have to. Otherwise, how are you going to keep a roof over our heads? Yeah, of course. Like, you'd, li you'd literally have to. Like, I would have to deal with it. Yeah, and I'd have to go to work, yeah. And Frankie would just have to be chucked around with grandparents and whatnot. There's literally no other way. Rosa would be in nursery. Would have yeah. to then pay for the others because she gets free, free... Half days. Half days free from the government. Then we'd have to pay for the other two. But then you'd probably have to pay for the rest of the full days. So yeah, make... yeah, you'd have to pay for her to be in full days. Cool, yeah. man. How much of a struggle that would be? Obviously, I was pregnant and worked with Rosa because we weren't even on TikTok when I was pregnant with Ro. And I know how hard it is. Like I actually ended up having like five weeks off work where I was so ill. Yeah, you did, didn't you? And then they allowed me to work from home for like four weeks. So technically... I feel I think that is such a, an amazing thing to do, yeah? And all employers are like, if you are pregnant, yeah, you should always go to your employer and let them know and let them know if you're really struggling. And your employers should do whatever they can to accommodate you. And mine did. Not all not all employees will though. No. And this is the sad reality of life. You they really you, they really should. Like happy staff is how how you create a successful business in my in my opinion. That was it, nausea. Yes, I've got it and I'm struggling. Cool. I've actually doing? borrowed this off my brother, which is like a nausea band, which is kind of kind of helping. Not really. But do you know what? I've it. definitely noticed a difference. Yeah. I definitely have noticed a difference. Last night you, you seemed on good form. <coughs> I felt okay last yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. I still felt sick, but it wasn't like taking yeah. over me. Yeah. Um, but I spoke to a doctor this afternoon, and I have been prescribed some management tablets, which I can do up tomorrow. So hopefully that helps. Are you going to find out the gender? Oh. Do you know what? I feel like because this is our last baby, like I don't really want any more than three. No. If I'm going to be honest. Me neither. Well, you you've sort of said to me like. Yeah, I said if it's a girl, I would really like to try one more time, oh see if it's God. a boy, but I don't actually care. Do you know what? Poppy is a prepper, yeah? She likes to be prepped for things and likes to be ready. I didn't want to find out with Eva, to be honest with you. I'm, I was all for like, let's get to the end and have the surprise. Because it's our last baby, I feel like we need to sort of have that. Yeah. And I asked Poppy, and you, you're sort of up for it, aren't you? I'm well up for it, actually. I don't want to find out. Yeah. So, no, I don't think we will find out. No, but you never sorry, know guys. things. Yeah, sorry. But it's going to make it even more yeah, magical exactly. when we do the birth vlog, if hopefully we can. You know, and then they go. Again. His little knobs. <laughs> no. Swinging around. Well, it's a boy! I think it's probably going to be a girl, I'm not going to lie. I just feel like we're meant to be. Like, I am a girl's dad. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I feel like I only produce girls. Yeah. But I actually am not bothered, like... No. Of course it'll be a nice experience that, in life, you know, experience being a dad to a boy, because obviously it is different. So no, we're not going to find out at the end, guys. I'm going to keep it surprised to the end. Are you going to... Are you going to continue breastfeeding France? And I am, yeah. Only at night, though. Only if she wakes up in the night, which she does. Um, and if I can't set her any other way then I do breastfeed her but it's not for long so technically I'm kind of not really breastfeeding her anymore no. but I, I am in the night if I need to Poppy's boobies have gone from <laughs> divine absolute 
beautiful <laughs> specimens to <laughs> shriveled up dates. <laughs> yeah, they're nothing to it anymore. No, I am really joking. No, it's true though. That's I mean, what happens. It's just they're just like skin. I've got her, don't I? Frankie is such a mama's girl when it comes to comfort <laughs> and when she's hungry. So I feel like it'll be good to get Frankie off as soon as possible. Because I can't kind of settle her in the night. <laughs> Are you going to have to move to a bigger house? Yes. Yeah. So, we've been speaking to our accountant and he is liaising with our mortgage broker. And yes, hopefully we can we can get... A mortgage. We can get a mortgage and find somewhere. Obviously, houses are so expensive. Yeah, they are. It's crazy. Ideally, in an ideal world, we'd have a four bed so that we've got the option to have an individual room for them because it would be nice, and I know not everyone's got that um, option, option there. It would be nice to offer them all their own room, you know, but that's not always the case. So, you know, a free bed might have to do. Depends on. We want to stay in our area, and it's so expensive. Yeah, honestly. It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy, money We live for in a Surrey, so it's like you pay Surrey prices. I'm sure we, we will sort of we'll find somewhere a bit out of the way that we can get a bit of a cheaper price. Yeah, we might have to just compromise on that. Yeah. But it's also that. like Rose is going to school next year. Yeah, we and want to stay in the area. We need to. Uh, the uh, Frank. We need to put in. I need to sort her applications up for Frank, school. Come on. It's all a bit up in the yeah. air. I don't. We don't really know. But it is the plan. We need to move before yeah. August, so it's going to be. This is going to be a busy year for us. Yeah, it is very busy. But make sure you subscribe, uh, like, and turn on the bell notifications <laughs> because our next video is going to be all about what we've got planned for this year our New Year's resolutions, our goals. Right, next question. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Are you going to get a new car? No. Oh, uh, yes. Rose is still in the car seat and she will be next, like when the baby comes. I don't, you won't fit three car seats in the back. I've actually already put a deposit down. <laughs> Poppy hasn't 100% agreed yet. No. For an electric nine-seater Mercedes V-Class. Which is good because I, I want an electric. And by the time it comes out, it hasn't come out yet. Um, we've just put like, I don't even know if it's a deposit, it's just more like a... It's a holding. Yeah, it's like it's a... It's like you're so on the list. Yeah, so you're on the list. Which I think, nice seat, mate. I mean, it's not the nicest thing to be driving around, but <laughs> practical, like... Yeah, it is going to be practical. Like, yeah. we've got three kids under the five that are all in the car seat, so... Yeah. Alright, come on then, next one. Are you scared to have two under two? Yeah. Oh, I'm absolutely shitting my pants, if I'm being no. honest with you. I really am. Like Frank's still not sleeping through the night. I'm still breastfeeding her in the night. And I just think, how am I gonna cope? We can't get Frankie sleeping through the night before this baby comes. Best believe I'm yeah. probably gonna have a breakdown. That is that is our main goal and has to be our main goal. Um is getting Frankie sleeping. At the end of the day, you're up oh, well, I mean up with Frankie, I was up every like half an hour feeding her for the first couple of months. Yeah, so And then it was like four or five times. <laughs> And it stayed like that really up until recently where it's only now she wakes up once. And also the tantrums. Dreading. Yeah. The tantrums that she's gonna be going through. But at the same time, like when they start walking and they wanna be it's a lot easier than a lot easier than having to carry them everywhere. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I definitely am scared, but we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll be hope. fine. We'll hope, we'll get through it. Help is on the way! <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's it. Little our first little pregnancy <laughs> update. Yeah. We only had one argument in between, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we've only had two arguments today, maybe three arguments. <sighs> I had a breakdown in the car. <laughs> oh my god, no, don't. No, don't. Oh, I need to do it. No, stop it. I need to do an impression of this because this is fast. <laughs> so I think, can I ask my own question, yeah? I'm so unstable. My own, my own question is, what are Poppy's hormones like, yeah? Put that across the screen. <laughs> she's trying to ring up the doctors, yeah? Fair enough, like, trying to sort out her nausea, which is, like, I get it. She's got baby brain at the same time, yeah? Already, so before we got in the car, she's like, where's my phone? I was like, I don't know. She's like, I don't care, let's go. So she left her phone here. Then she finally got through to the doctors because she was, like, number 20 by the time we left. And by the time I'd done shopping, got lunch and everything. I was on the phone for over an hour. Yeah. So she finally got her appointment. They said, yeah, we'll call your mobile. Then she was like, oh my god, my mother's at home. After I've already put the phone down though, to yeah. the doctor. So then she's ringing up again, but she goes through to the desk to tell them to ring my phone, but she's in number eight. And then I come in the car, this is like one o'clock here, yeah, I've not eaten all day. And I was like, right, can we go to Nando's now? And you're like, no, we can't go to Nando's. 
Like, you can't go to Nando's. And then I was like, all right, all right, I'd had enough by this point. I had whatever was in my hands there and I slammed them on the side and I said, all right, I won't fucking eat them. Yeah. And then she went fucking mental. Yeah, sorry about my language for the kids here. And literally was like, bop, 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 bang in the car, yeah, the horn, this is in White Trace car park, yeah, the horn was like, beep, 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 beep. And then she's literally trying to get the seatbelt on you and she's like, and then it's not coming because obviously you have to be gentle and I'm like, be gentle with it! And then she's like, <laughs> and she's turning around again. <laughs> so anyway, it went on for about two minutes of her yanking at this thing. Drived out, yeah? Reversed it, like, Jesus Christ! And right forward. Nearly took out a car on the way out. No, it didn't! Yeah, and I said, can you, you put your seatbelt on? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yeah, Just are. before she drove out of Waitrose, she... She, I was like, can you put your seatbelt on? She's like, I can't! <laughs> I was like, gentle and slow. <laughs> and then she laughed. No, no, I and cried straight up. About five minutes afterwards and then cried to me. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> yeah, I laughed okay? and cried at the same time. No, but I do really struggle yeah, she does. with my hormones in life. She's an angry person as it is. <laughs> it's classic because you. No, you're making me out to be like, no, really. No, because it's classic because you've always said to me, I should get anger management. No, but, but you are angry. <laughs> What, compared to you? You like? started that by throwing whatever you had at the car. Uh, and saying, fine, I want effing eat then. And then that set me off. If you hadn't have acted like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I do know that. I, I, know wouldn't, that. I wouldn't have had that reaction. <laughs> so I'm blaming you. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And we hope you got them little answers. Uh, let us know if there's any more questions you want to know in the comments. And we can use them for our next one. Say bye. Bye. Say bye bye, thanks. Peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Zada. Zada. Stop it. That sounds like when we can see. Don't. That makes me feel ill.